And yes, ma'am. Yep. We are we back. Never, we never forget once the again, ladies. Never forget the ladies. We are back once again with another Dot View podcast featuring me and E at Live. And tonight, we going to slow down. Not slow it down like, you know, we going too fast. And then we going to slow it down as in, let's, let's go ahead and groove. We want to groove tonight. So we gonna musica, talk about, la musica. We're going to talk about something that, that get us spicy. Music. So we are going to tell y'all a couple of our favorite and most influential tracks that we listen to. But we're just doing it to hopefully we can bounce some off with y'all. If y'all got any ones that match ours or you got ones that y'all can bounce off ours, we'll go ahead, put them in the comment and... Of course, yeah. I know I, I reply back every please, time. Please, uh, please share yours with us. Yeah, I, I would love to hear that. We love all different genres. Me too. And things. Wow, and you know, we get we we span the test of time too. Yes. So anybody from way back in, you know, I'm half a hundred or a little bit over. But you know, if you're just coming up, hey, what what you got? Yeah. We can identify. We love music. Yes, love music. And most of my people know, like I used to do. I used to do music myself back when I was a little bit younger. But it's still in me, so I still listen to a whole lot of music. I got it's still, the music in me. It's still like a whole the music bunch of, in me. you know, a whole I got bunch of the vibes music in me. that come, you know, vibes and everything that come with it. So tonight, me and my man's E, we gonna let y'all know a few of the tracks that we like. Y'all spit it back to us, and then we can be tracked up, you know, music all together. So I'm gonna start off. And we're gonna start off with Well, I'm glad he said tracked up because yeah. we don't do that crack. We don't get cracked up. Get that mess. Never. That, that's that's for all that mess out there, you know? We're gonna do it like older songs, songs in between, and newer songs. So with the older song, because I wrote my list down, you know, we are a little bit we are seasoned the in the game. You know what I'm saying? That, that's nice too. We yeah. are the children. But yeah, so I decided to write it down because I wanted to be 100% accurate. Now, one of my first early influential songs was by the Doobie Brothers. Mm-hmm. And um, that was one of the groups where me living in Chicago, I didn't really um, know too many white guys with soul. Shy town Shy town So I didn't know too many white guys with soul. And when we was introduced to the Doobie Brothers, well, I do know. I know him. Oh, he didn't know me. He didn't know me back then. That's but yeah, now that the Doobie Brothers was introduced to me by my grandmother, and she let me know that through music, everybody is the same. So no matter if dude is singing country, if you're relate, if people are relating to it, let it go. No matter if you're singing R and B, if they relating to it, let it flow. If it makes you feel good. If it makes you feel good. If it smells good, if it tastes good, eat it. Right, Dion? Yeah, let it flow. And sometimes it may smell good Uh-oh. and look good, Uh oh. but it may taste horrible. Oh. But still, that's, you got to try it. In that case, you got to duck out. Yeah, you got to duck, duck out. out. So what is, what is one of your favorite older, older school songs? Uh, I'll tell you what. I uh, you know We talked about it a little bit earlier. Um, I'm going to go with Cat Stevens. Mm. You know? Okay, I heard it. Ooh, I heard baby, 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 it's a wild world. Oh. Very good one. That was great. And we also got Peace Train, because I grew up in the Peace era, the late Strange. 60s, the, the okay. 70s, and, you know, it, it, there, there was a lot of incredible music back then. Music that, unfortunately, I don't see today. I know it's a whole different ball game, Lost Art. but we don't have that type of stuff coming out anymore, and for all you younger ones and millennials and the ones just coming up, Man, tap back into a little bit of history, Man, and, and yes. at least at least give it a give it a go. If you yeah. don't like it, you don't like it. It's okay. Yeah, to each his own. To each his own. Yeah, that's fine. But True. you know, know where we're coming from because you know we're we're talking from a wisdom standpoint. Yeah, and so, it wasn't only the music; nope. it was the people and the vibe yeah. that came from it, and uh, it it brought us together. There really was something special happening. Yeah. And like, especially in the seventies, it was it just was a totally different time. But take it away, Dion. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. Bring us back. Like, like you said, it was um, music ain't ain't what it was today. Um, it's been watered down a little bit because you got um, images and um, certain stigmas to uphold. So music right. is just thrown out there, and it's uh, labels put on it, and 
sexual most of the women is sexualized most of the guys is over sexualized and then you have um where you go where you cross the line you know people got offensive music that kind of jab at other people that's not well, of their denomination and all that and then you got other folks who are trying to who are trying to bridge the gaps with um different types of music like country like country rap i don't know if you ever heard that before yeah there's so yeah i have um there's a guy that, by the name of colt Porter. um yes. he actually wrote songs for jason aldean Ooh. and uh jason aldean great country singer yeah. and i also love me some eric church Eric church um yeah he's really awesome okay. but again we cross all kinds of lines i mean dion he, he's very versed in music i'm yeah. very versed in music you know Country's a little bit of a different thing. Yes, yeah, um, you, you really don't hear anything in country coming from anger or hate. No, like maybe in some other genres. Now yeah. I know how to take it objectively. I don't look at it like that. I don't let it make me angry or anything. But yeah. it's like, wow, you know, when you sat and wrote that, man, there was a lot of anger in your soul. Feeling and I'm happy stuff. <laughs> yeah, and it just it takes it, it's it's different now than it was in yesteryear. And that type you of know, music, that so. type of music can take a toll on you too. Like when you, like how you were saying, like just being in that certain type of mind frame and mind state can get you to make a certain type of music. Because yeah. music is is ninety percent emotional and ten percent writing. Um, it comes from the pit of your stomach, your heart, your brain, wherever you derive yeah. your music from. That it, it comes from that. It don't come from um, it don't come from like no little magic pill you can take. You can't smoke. You can't smoke a cigarette and all of a sudden you got musical talent. No, it's um, and it's an acquired thing. It's a, a blessing for some because I can't sing, but you got people like Whitney Houston, rest her soul, she can sing. You got people like Eric Clapton, he can sing. Wow, you got yeah. people like um, who else? Like Marvin Gaye, which is one of my other friends. incredible. You got I didn't write like him that. down, but wow, yeah, great, great that, one. Great I said way to him. Great one. That was like my second. He was my second person that um. Uh, and I grew up with him. He came back from my era. Yeah. I mean, and, and even before, yes. really. Marvin Gaye was, so. um, he was, it was, his story was unique. Um, my mama, she knew a lot of, um, she knew a lot of personal information on most of them stars because she studied music and everything like that. Mm-hmm. So she knew, like, some in-depth and intricate um, certain qual- uh, qualities and little things about the, the artist. And, you know, you know. Um, so she was a student of the game. Yes. And she, she was a very studious lady. Yeah, she let us know that that a lot of that music that we listen to, a lot of it came from pain, a lot of it came from joy. But that, but she told us it, it comes from the emotional state and not just something. You know what I mean? It comes from somewhere a place of emotions instead of just something just written down on a piece of paper. Well, know? and ultimately that was a very tragic story because yeah. you know maybe maybe some of you that are just coming up now and things like that. Marvin Gaye was absolutely beautiful, one of the greatest voices you'll ever hear in your yeah. life. You know, um, he was African American and things like that. He also reminds me of somebody else that's absolutely amazing, and I tap into him every Christmas. But Nat King Cole, Nat King, Nat Cole. King Cole's voice was oh like, maple syrup. It yeah. was absolutely incredible. What was that Christmas carol that he? Oh, 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 oh holy, holy night! Oh, oh holy my night! God. Oh my goodness, oh, my bro! God. It just brings you to tears, Man, almost, doesn't it? My grandma used to every Christmas. My yeah. grandma used to uh, pop in Nat King Cole and that song. Right. Holy oh, night. no, no, not Silent oh, Night. Not Silent Night. No. Oh, holy yeah. night. Yeah. Oh, oh. The stars oh, are brightly shining. That was men, like yeah. Dude. And it's like that's what I miss about music too. It's the genuine yeah. connectivity of music to other folks, like um. We, we want to talk about music. By the way, I can't sing Dion. That yeah, was I, that was a pretty poor rendition I, by me. Bro, I can't sing I, either. I can't. I, sing I was just Dion. trying to give you an example. I wasn't trying to put my talent out there yeah. on the web because Our, there there ain't no singing talent here. Our renditions of songs is, is yeah, we don't have the the soulful and lustful voices of of most of those. Except singers. for when Dion goes. Loving it, loving it. Yeah, go. that's about the only that that little <laughs> two second window. That's about all that's the niceness you gonna get. That's all that, got. It's cracking and it's <laughs> cracking and bad happiness. But Absolutely. we decide we can bring a music because music is universal. It's transcendent. You can be in one mood, listen to a certain song, your whole mood change. Um, you could be going through a certain situation, listen to one song. The inspiration of that one thing or one song and you can move on um it's basically all about putting putting yourself in a position when you're musically because a lot of people can't relate 
do a lot of stuff musically. A lot of people relate to things in different ways. Me and people that relate to things musically, it's easier for us because we might hear like a certain tune. We might hear a ding, 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 and it might remind us of a certain song. Now, that song is in our head all day. Yeah, we humming, right. and we got a smile on our face after frowning for like yeah. a whole hour. How many know? times has somebody done that to you, Dion, where like, Maybe all of a sudden they bust out a song and like, you know, sing just a couple of verses to it to you for a second. And you're like, man, I haven't heard that in 20 years. Yes. But he's right. Then it's in your head yep. for like the next week. And you and it's and, there. And but, the, neat, the, neat, the neat thing is about media right now is, you know what? We can listen to what we want to when we want to. If I want to tap into Cat Stevens, boom, he's right here. And or or whomever we like to listen to. Yeah. I mean, we got it. The technology is amazing. I mean, so. Yeah, and, and we got YouTube and uh, Google and stuff nowadays, so you can pull up any song from any genre. iHeartRadio is pretty cool, too. Uh, yeah, iHeartRadio, you got Tidal, you yeah. got Spotify, um, you got Google Play. You got a lot of a lot of networks you can go to and retrieve the music of, oh, like, another song that I like a lot, Bobby Caldwell. A lot of people uh, didn't know Bobby he Caldwell. He always mentions Bobby Caldwell. Bobby, That's Bobby, one of his heroes. Yeah, he wanted the, he wanted the innovators of... Uh, of soul music like even though a lot of people didn't know that he was a white gentleman until years and years later still didn't nobody care about that when they did when they did figure out he was white we didn't remember care. you you but even Bobby reintroduced Cole. him to me because i haven't heard one of his songs in like the longest time and it was about like two three weeks ago mm-hmm. or da 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 when we started hanging and doing some podcasts yeah. you like listen to this and i'm like man i remember this i haven't wow. tapped into this and that was one of those examples of to where he you know, pulled out something that I haven't heard in 30 freaking years. And then I'm saying, you hear that one But song. it was, but it instantaneously brought me up. And yeah. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, oh, okay. This like, is awesome. Like, this is that gym. Yeah, like, yeah. um, like, um, a, a country artist that, uh, cause I don't, I don't really listen to country, but it's one artist who you could just say his name and it'll ping in my head. Conway Twitty. I don't know how many people remember Conway Twitty, but I when I was Conway younger, Twitty. when I was younger, remember um, before when we got up and went to school, yeah, about like five, six o'clock in the morning. You had them commercials. You had them damn uh-huh. infomercials, uh-huh. and uh-huh. who was one of the first and main Always people Conway on Conway Twitty. Always Conway mm-hmm. Twitty trying to sell an album. <laughs> it feels yeah. funny because he was always trying to sell albums, but he was. You couldn't tell as a kid. We didn't know that that's what he was doing. We basically thought people liked him so much they just put him on TV. And uh, we were just kids. We were, we were more worried about getting home from school and just getting out in the street and playing some baseball or football. Exactly. You know? We want to tackle each other. You know, yeah, yeah, scrape yeah. each other up a little bit. We yeah. You know, what I'm saying Conway Twitty. <laughs> everybody know who Conway Twitty is. If you were, if you was an Eddie's baby like myself. You know who Conway Twitty is because we done seen him every morning before we went to school and we had to deal with Mr. Conway Twitty. It's a few songs that I can remember up well, and, and how about this? You know what? They, they would have Conway Twitty, yes. but then the next track would be, guess who? Loretta Lynn. Loretta Lynn. Oh, what? She was beautiful. And then, now, you know, Dion said, you know, he doesn't, he, he's not really that greatly, greatly familiar with like country yeah, music. Like country, I'm yeah. a little bit more tapped into country music, but I mean, for any of you country music fans out there, I mean, George Jones was a pioneer, drunk as hell, but a total pioneer and a beautiful voice. And also uh, Merle Haggard. I remember he, Merle Haggard. He was one of the, the, the highway men, I believe. He was what they called outlaw country. What television you know? show? It was a television show that um, the character in the show used to listen to Merle Haggard all the time. And it was mentioned, in, but well, Merle Haggard was mentioned in a few of uh, old, you know, the old school shows back in the day. Hmm. Um, a few of the, the sitcoms back in the day, like you know, um, was the Archie Bunker? I know they they mentioned him before. Uh, okay, um, in one of the I shows. used to watch All in the Family a lot, yeah, but I don't really family. recollect that like too too much. Yeah, he, it's one of the things, like you know, it's them certain instances where you catch like a certain keyword, and your mind always goes back to that. But I yeah. remember, I remember uh, his wife saying Merle. Like yeah. she was, she yeah. Was it Claude? What was her god dang name? What was her name? Oh, uh, I don't want to. Oh, oh, Edith. Oh, Edith. Edith. Because oh, okay. the way you said, it, yeah, Edith. Archie Edith. and Edith. I thought you were talking about Merle Haggard's wife. No, 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 no. I think he might have been married to Tammy Wynette, and Tammy Wynette. Oh, that that was like one. Of, that was like one of the the, the, the first the first 
deals you ever heard of where a man was putting his hand on a woman like out in the media uh -huh. and stuff like that because Tammy Wynette she was like physically abused oh, and I'm sorry if I'm wrong about this I think it was like Merle Haggard or it could have even been George Jones I'm not sure but she mm. was married to a, 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 a popular star. country star mm -hmm. and yeah he was a drunk and you know he used to lay his hands on her and stuff like that. So yeah, we don't we don't advocate that at all. No 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 no. Don't put the hands on women. I ain't never put my hands on a woman yeah. in my whole life. I, I, yeah, I've I've not physically went and, and bopped a woman. I accidentally hit my sister when I was younger. That's about it. He punched but, me last week, but that was <laughs> off camera. You know that's, but, that's between him and me. But yeah, you know I, what I mean. We ain't we ain't punch so y'all. We don't do the violence. We we stay good. Yeah. But. Another one of the songs that I wanted to, wanted to jump back on. Just in case I talk too much, Dion, here's the duct tape. Oh, You're in control. You do You're perfect. in control of the duct perfect. tape. You control. If I need it, it you got free reign. You know so, Another song that a lot of people might not know the artist's name because Will Smith did a parody, uh, not a parody, but he did a cover of it. It's an artist called Ryan with a song, Just the Two of Us. Now, Just basically, me being a dad, uh, me being a dad, that kind of put me in the mind of me and my daughter. Shout out to my baby, uh, DeAndre Kateja Whitmore. Daddy love you. But um, it put me in the mind of having my child, you know, having my child. And basically, it helped me become a little bit of a better father because um, the, the wording and the intentions in that song was to basically tell fathers if the, if the lady don't need you, that child do. So... You take that, you and your child, and then roll solo, aka just the two of us. Um, me being a, me, once again, me being the father that just kind of touched me in a little special way because I just wanted to. It helped me become a better father as listening to it and observing the situation that that Ryan and Will Smith was going through. So I was like, okay, that can help me become a uh, pretty much a better father than um, what I wanted to be or what I thought I could be. And by the way, he and his girl just last week laid down a great podcast together. I'll check that I, out. I, I would implore you to check that out. Check it out. It's an audio podcast. Yes. But it, it was very it was very important. Had a great message to it. Yeah. About interracial relationships and, and how to deal with them. And if you in one and um, all that good stuff, it's just basically giving you a little, some advice on how to deal with it. Because I know it's not, um, these, in this day and time and this climate right now, it's not really that easy to be in an interracial relationship seeing all of the controversy and stuff that's going back and forth but if you can survive these type of times it's not going to always be like this so if you can survive these type of times when the good times do come back around you all set so you ain't you don't have to I hope I'm still alive yeah no the good times going to be around they're going to be it. around in the next couple of years and basically we're going to take these this time right now and everything that's going on going to take it, go ahead and let it marinate, and then we're going to learn like from it. Like a good steak? Yeah, like, like a, a ribeye? Like a real good steak. Are we going to put that baby on the grill and put be able to cut it with a steak knife and freaking eat like kings? <clears throat> yes, that's how we're trying to, that's, that's what basically we what we're trying to say to y'all, is through music, you can go ahead and let go of some of the ailments that we got, some of the BS that we got in the media, some of the BS that we got in politics. Some of the, even some of the BS that we have in music, because there's a lot of craziness going on within the music industry. But you don't, you don't have to make yourself a part of something that you ain't got nothing to do with. Your only thing is to listen to the music that can make you want to do better in life. You don't have to run up and, and be mad at the people who make the records because they giving the artists like two dollars and. The company itself is making like 10. That's none of our business. We don't own that company. We're not that artist. But we can enjoy the music and we can enjoy the sentiment that they put in there it with the music. Well, but also just to bring it back full circle mm -hmm. and things like that, you know what? Um, you know, there's a lot of there, there's a lot of uh, wild things happening out there and stuff. Yes. Hey, I just got back from the store. I'll tell you what, I just got from here and back and stuff. There's chaos out there. There's dogs and cats living together. It's anarchy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever. But, uh, you know, again, we just want to bring a good vibe, a good music, good feeling. Yeah. You know, we, we all know what's in the news. We all know what's going on. We're all, a lot of us are out here suffering. I mean, hey, I, I, I've been newly elected back to the, uh, the, 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 you know, the unemployed. Yeah. 
You know what? As of Friday. Yeah. So hey, but hey, we're survivors, yeah, we right, still, baby? We're yeah, survivors. We still remember. And look, we're still we're still happy and we still want to come to you. And you, we want you to come to us. Dion, yeah. what do you always say? Hit that subscribe. Yeah, hit that think? subscribe. I mean, hit that yeah. share, hit that like, because we yeah. we want to bring y'all up. Some some easiness like music. We just want to bring y'all a good track, just a little break. Yeah, we we got a podcast as a track. We just want y'all to listen to the track, lay back, listen to the track, get a little bit of, of information out of it if you want to. If not, just find something different to listen to. Because I know you either if you're a single mom, single dad, you tired of kids screaming at you. If you are a married couple, maybe you want some time away from your husband or your wife, and you don't really want them to interrupt your space. Well, ladies, if you want some time away from your husband, I'm here. You know how to get in touch with me. Okay. Take it away, Dion. Yeah, yeah. So, basically, we want y'all to think of your favorite track. I'm not that dude. Don't worry. Yeah, no. He's he's a good one, y'all. And we we need y'all to think of your favorite track. I just love the ladies. We love the ladies, man. And matter of fact, that leads me to another. What is your favorite track for the ladies? Or what is the uh what not oh. not, not the most favorite, but what is um a track like that, uh, uh, okay. that you would play around the lake? Do you know what? A go to? Yes. Um what is your go to? Stevie Nicks mm. Leather and Lace. I don't remember. And it was Catholic. with uh Don Henley from mm. the Eagles. Okay. And Stevie Nicks. It's when I'm feeling, you know, a little bit something something about the ladies. So I, I don't want to give a shout out to my ex and stuff, but I do love her to death and you know, she's out there. And whatever, but uh, you know, she's a great and wonderful girl. I wish we were still together, but hey, it is what it is. But you know, this it's kind of one of my go-tos when you know I just kind of want to sit and relax. You know, kind of you know get in that vibe and you know think about you know the good times that we had and whatever and the love that we shared. And it's uh, Don Henley and Stevie Nicks, Leather and Lace. That's my go-to. I say my okay. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Mm-hmm. Um, mine would be. Um, not 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 Luther, but uh, it was right on the tip of my tongue. I'm sorry. It's um, I, it's right on the tip of my tongue. I was just having when you said Stevie Nicks, it kind of right on the tip of his tongue. Yeah, check it, out that tongue, it, Dion. You look like a there, lizard. You look like a lizard. Music, music, soul child, love. Look at that. Yeah, I get y'all. Look, he looks like a lizard, man. I don't know. Wait, um, 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 music, soul child. He had he made a song called uh, Love and it was um I don't know that one. It it was it was a I I play it for you after right, after right. the podcast. But it's it was um Look forward to hearing it. It Absolutely. was basically a song and he basically broke down the conception or he basically broke down the perception of love perfectly. Hmm. He was like, uh, people use your name in vain. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um those who have faith in you sometimes go astray. Right. So he was basically he wanted to be like, yo, you my world, you my everything, I wanna Marry you and all that, and I right. die without you. He's basically saying, "Listen, love is love is a three way road. A three way road. You can go down the right path. I never heard of you a three way road. Wow. Yeah, you got you got okay. two uh, left, right, middle. That's so right. you got you, you got know what, four. I like to go right down the middle. Bring it, y'all know what it is. But yeah, <laughs> so so love that song. Love was it was it hit me because he basically explained. How it is to be in love? Cause you remember, like back in the day when we was younger, we was taught like it's a certain, it's only one or two types of love. You can love somebody for who they is, or you can love somebody for physical, financial yeah. some attributes. You know, so he basically broke it down as saying, "Listen, if you love somebody for just them, that's, that's the right thing." Like. That's what I like. I, mean, like, like I, I, I like the whole scope. Me too. Yeah. You know, like, give me hey, the three things. Somebody's just good looking. But they're no fun to hang around. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I don't even want to be with her. That's lame. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's it's lame no to hell. So I like I like the whole package, man. It's like, you know, it's be able if, to talk. If my ex, for all her wonderful attributes, yes. also had the attributes of like this other woman that I know, that she's got the attributes that my ex doesn't have. Mm. But if I were to combine them, yeah. oh my god, I would have Wonder Woman. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's like man. So it, that, that's it's really hard to find that, and music does that. Yeah, you know, music brings it all together. Music gets us through tough times and hard times. And I'm also going to mention something else. Um, how could we forget the Commodores? 
And Lionel oh, Richie, Tommy Lionel Richie. And when Richie. Lionel Richie got together with Kenny Rogers yes. and sang "Lady," he sang "Lady." Oh my God! Holy, uh, right? He, um, uh, I forgot it was uh, Phil. And also, yeah. "My Love," "My Love," just thinking about you, baby. I love him. It just yeah, like, blows my mind. Yes, yeah, you, you singing that? It put me oh, in that's, the mind. That's Lionel Robinson. Richie. But hold on, yeah, no, that's a great find right Smokey. there too. Smokey, Ooh. are you kidding me? Smokey Ruben. Robinson. Yeah. Ooh, on a Sunday afternoon. I used to do. I got something funny to you show you. You talking about feel good? Damn. Damn, that was. And remember, um, like going along with the Commodores, you had yeah. the uh, um, the Ohio players. You had um, the Manhattans. Yes, the Manhattans. You also had mm. uh, Earth. Let's Wind just and, kiss and say goodbye, baby. Earth, wind, and fire. Earth, wind, and fire. Yeah. And absolutely. man, it was. Um, you also had uh, the the late great Luther Vandross. Luther Vandross. And, and the Vandross. The Vandross uh, family. Oh, how about who? Oh, hold on. Dion, I'm going to pull one out of my ass right here. I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to get a little bit of a low voice right here. Oh, I know you're talking a, about. I'm about a little bit of a I know you very well. Mm. Mm. He was, when I'll I I'll tell you what, you, you get in that good space with your woman and man. stuff like that, you got a little Barry White going my on in the background. Man. Game over. My auntie, she, man. She, she's like, she's like clay she, in your hands. Play-Doh. Like a, yeah, man. I remember my, my auntie. Awesome. My auntie, my uncle, my uncle used to tell me. My oh, you didn't treat your auntie like Plato, no. did you? Oh, no, 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 no. My auntie, All right, I'm going off the rip. Yeah, my, my, my bad. My bad. No, um, that's family. That's family. But uh, my uncles, he used to tell, my uncles used to always tell us, like, listen, if you want a lady, you're going to have to play that soft music. And mm. they didn't mean like soft music as it wasn't, you know, manly. No, they meant yeah. soft music as you're supposed to play something that's going to bring out romantic. The romantic. I'm a romantic. I, I, yeah. I, I am an admitted romantic. You I'm can't sorry. Be you can't be but I'll tell you what, it bites me in the ass all the time because the chicks don't dig that. No, it's no, no. like oh, they just think that you're some kind of a sap and a puppy dog. You gotta, you gotta find. I don't know. You gotta find those those chicks that are open minded. Yeah, the, yeah, it's yeah. The younger chicks nowadays that think a gentleman or um, somebody that that cares about and wants to take care of your lady is a simp. That's what they call them nowadays, simps. So any any a simp nowadays is a person that respects and take care of his, uh, take care of his woman. I, well, I would be a simp because I care for mine and I take care of mine mm-hmm. as well. So you can call me a simp, but I've been uh, I've been in a relationship. In I the tried, game, but six I, think, years. I think we had cultural differences, and I you know I don't want to go to the racial and ethnic thing because yeah. I'll tell you what, she's still the most beautiful girl to me on the face of the earth, but she's from the Dominican Republic. So there, I, love you. I think that there was some you know yeah, cultural uh, bias value mm-hmm. value differences and. Yeah. You know, but uh, unfortunately, we couldn't communicate and get through it. That's yeah. basically what it was. But again, you know, we're still talking about the music here. No, and that, that's, you what know what I mean? that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all mm-hmm. within the music that yeah. we're talking about because music brings out those emotions. Like most of the stuff that we've been talking about and trying to d- relate to y'all, all has something to do with music. It all has something to do with the emotional state and the emotional feeling that we would be in at that time. Like Eric was saying, he meant. He still loves his ex, and he still um, would care for her if she came back into his life. So, oh, it, it, oh, believe me, it wouldn't be that easy. Yeah. I, I'd be a little bit more cautious. Yeah, you got to work. You got to work, but you, you know, still... But, but she's welcome in my life, that's yeah. for sure, because I get her. I understand her, and I know. Mm-hmm. And she knows that I know, and it's okay. I'm and fine. And don't, don't worry about that. me, boys and girls. I ain't going to go jumping off a building anytime soon. No, we, so. we ain't going to have to do that. You we, know what I mean? Dion already stopped me from jumping off a building about five times already, so yeah. I'm tired. Of, I'm, I'm giving up on that. Yeah, y'all know, y'all, yeah. and all the people that's out there that don't, that feel like they just got to give up. No, no you don't. wrong. You don't. You don't wrong. have to give up, man. You do not have to give up. The more you fight, the stronger you get. You go, And then it's going to be a certain point in time you look up, and you're going to be so strong that you're going to be looking at people hitting you, and you're yeah. like, I can't even feel this. Oh, okay, I'm good now. And you're going you're gonna to push them people away, and now you can walk anew. Because you, you but we're not saying it's easy. It's, it's not, not easy. Life not is easy. not easy. Nothing about it. Look at where we're at today. Yeah. Nothing's easy. Without I'll music, tell you what, I have every music. reason, and Dion knows, I have every reason to be not a happy camper right now. But guess what? My chin's up. Yeah. We want to come to you. I want to come to you. And you know what? And we also want your feedback. We really want yeah. some more feedback from you. Yeah. I'm, really. Because I've been loving I love, the comments. I love, I love talking to you, and I love loving replying the comments. to you. Absolutely. I yeah. mean, that, that's been a lot of fun. And I've been a little bit more... Um, you know, 
I, I know that I need a, needed to bring up my game on uh, social media and Facebook. I've been out of the equation. You dare, y'all. But I told you a while back, Dion's inspired me, and I think we're doing a lot of good work. Yes, we are. And, you know, we're always working on it. We're always, always working, working on it. And every time we do this, we get excited. We get excited to come to you. This ain't about Dion and me. We got our own relationship. We know yeah. where we're at. Yeah, we good. And stuff like that. But, man, do we want to bring it to you? Bring it to we y'all. know all the bad stuff that's going on out there. Take a break. Yeah, take a take break, Take a man. break. Listen to a song. Yeah. Turn off Turn off whatever news station that you're watching. Turn because God off. knows. Whatever. Yeah. And, and go to one of your go-tos and get in a good space. Yeah. Listen, where listen where you. you don't need to feel violent or you don't need nope. to feel like, oh, well, everybody's out to get me. Yeah. And all like this that. other mess. Take a deep breath. And relax. Again, it's easier said than done, but it's doable. It is. You know what I mean? Like he was saying, y'all, it's it's doable. Also, like we said, listen to a good track. You know, even though like we I didn't label it like I supposed to and we call kinda, me, damn it. Yeah, we kinda I kinda threw the, the old and modern me. and future music in at once. Y'all y'all get the gist of what we were saying. Listen to what makes you happy. Listen to what uplifts your spirit. Yeah. Listen to what influence you. And don't listen to everybody else talking about they don't like your type of genre of music because they are not you. They don't live how you live and they don't hear what you hear. And, and take a walk while you're doing it. Yeah. Uh, put it in your headphones and go out and watch a nice sunset. Go. Put everything out of your mind for like at least a half hour. Yeah, man. Or something. Rest. You know, we're all in our heads. Our heads are all spinning a million miles an hour. We're humans now, but we're expected yeah. to be 24-7. Yes. You know what I mean? We're not robots, man. We're At the end of the day, we're human beings. Yeah. And, get tired. you know, hey, I have my down times. Dion knows. I yeah. mean, we all got you know, even the vibe before today's podcast, Dion and I were kind of like more no. mellow. We didn't like really pre-game and get all yeah, up. Yeah, we didn't get crazy. This is not... Kind of I, I, was, I was actually worried about it a little bit. I'm like, man, we're not really like vibing really hard. But guess what? When the lights come on and that camera goes on and Dion okay. and I sit here and we got you with us, I'll tell you what, the energy, the vibe automatically goes through the roof, baby. Goes okay. through the roof. Boom. So with That's that being said, y'all, we're going we gonna to end that on that really good note that my man E left us with. Just remember, listen to what makes you happy. Lightning round. Lightning round. Oh, okay. Uh, we we gonna, got a few more names. We're gonna we're do. Gonna, a few, we don't need to elaborate. Yeah. We're gonna we'll do a few more names. We're gonna do a lightning round. Yeah, we're gonna do a lightning round with a few yeah, more yeah, names. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So, that's in middle age and newer music that I like. The Roots. Uh, do what they never do what they do. Bob Marley and Jimmy Cliff. Yeah. I can see clearly now. The rain yeah. is gone. Me, um, yeah, baby. Will Smith, summertime. Oof. Love summertime. Okay. Summer, summer. Hey. Who doesn't love Sweet Caroline? Oh, bum, bum, bum. That's Neil shit. Diamond, baby. Neil Diamond. Tupac. Dear Mama. And y'all know why. Dear Mama. The Mama. Love my Mama. Abba. Dancing Queen. Take a chance if you change your mind. Take a chance on me. All right, y'all. I got man, and I love that Blondie, man. I'll I tell you what. I, do. I love it. I got that. one more for y'all, and this goes basically to my um my um other activities. Loonies. I got. What, five what are these other activities, Dion? Oh, the loonies. I got five on it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what that's all hey, about. I already know what I got five on. I don't know. But yeah. I, I thought I knew everything about this guy, but that I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So with that being said, me and my favorite co-host right now, we gonna get up out of here. We did it. We going we ain't gonna talk y'all head off too much. But yo, when you see this, turn on your favorite track. But before right. you do that, subscribe, like, comment, and share. We- we wanted to bring some light to your day, baby. That's all. Oh, That's all there is to it. A little do. comedy, a little levity, a little music. Oh. La musica, baby. La musica. Yes. Mm. So, y'all, with that being said, we would like to thank y'all for tuning in. Tune in some more. And thank you. I, I want to I wanna do a quick shout out. I've been on social media a little bit more. Pat Napick, my boy from high school. We played Yay. Little League ball together. I learned today that it's your birthday, my brother. Yes. And also, Neil Massanello. We had a nice conversation today. Neil was one of my buds right there. I can't go on too much, but I'll tell you what. All you guys have been wonderful to me. I've gotten nice comments back, and I'm really glad to be back into the fold. And I'll tell you what. I have this man right here to blame. 
Yeah. No, I, I didn't say blame. I mean to thank. Yes. To thank, oh. not to blame. And shout out to my big brother, Dave. I got your track coming right after this. So There y'all, you go. He's waiting listen, on you. Y'all listen to the tracks. Y'all listen to me and E's other podcast. And we gone, man. We love you. Do As always, baby. Bye.